Hi, it's Mike again. Welcome to another how-to video. I'm going to show you something cool. No, it's not my Land Cruiser, but on my Tacoma. So my Tacoma is a 2007 Gen 2, and they never did come with these grill lights. Well, I noticed that a lot of the newer Tacomas have these grill lights, or Raptor lights if you want to call it. I thought they were pretty cool. And then I started noticing people were starting to add these lights to their older Tacomas too, and I thought, hey, I could get into that. So rather than buying a kit, I decided to fabricate my own brackets and go out to the automotive store and pick up some LED running lights, and it turned out pretty good. So I'll show you what I did and how I wired everything up, and uh, perhaps you can make something like this too for yourself. Cut some strips so I can kind of mock up how the bracket is going to situate itself. I'm just going to use some one inch by one eighth of an inch of cold rolled steel for the brackets. No weld those up. So I noticed that my Tacoma had some holes here that I'm going to try to utilize. Uh, if yours doesn't, you probably just drill quarter by 20 hole in there to make it fit perfectly but that's a rough location where I'm gonna have the standoff brackets go so I figure I'll have something standoff like that and then just angle down notice that some of the Tacomas the newer ones are flat grill here and they can actually fit three or four a couple more lights it's like I only have room for two so I'll probably end up placing it right right about there so that looks like a pretty good position right there and I'll have to bend it down a little bit so I'll just mark it by eye where roughly where the grill the back of the grill starts so angle it down just a little bit oh perfect take a look to see how that works maybe something like that nice little mounting pattern That well, looks perfect. So just make sure that this is 90 degrees here to that. Um, pretty simple. That's uh, part of the creative process, just some cardboard, some tape, and a sharpie and some scissors, and just keep on adjusting it until you get the right angles and perfect right. So now I'm gonna do the other side, which is gonna be a mirror image. So we'll just make two of these, mirror image, and we should be good to go. Just hack all this up and we'll lay it all out and we'll fabricate. So it looks like about 35 degrees. And this one looks about so 55 degrees. So 35 plus 55 is 90 degrees. So that looks perfect. So I created a welding jig for this. So the one angle is 35 and the other angle is 55. So I put the metal on there and take a pair of vice grips and clamp it together. When I weld it, it will be perfectly aligned. Clamp it in the vise. And you want to be just a proud of the line because of the the radius of the bend will will make it exactly one inch. And I'll just take my hammer like that, and we'll check it against the wood jig and see if we're close. If not, we'll just tap it some more. So I'll be able to clamp that with the vice grip, put the other piece in there, clamp it together, and I can run some welds along there. I'll be perfectly aligned. all ready to go here. I got everything all cut up and ready to be welded. So I'll see you in the flip side. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'll work on wiring the lights up. So I have both these lights connected to the same female crimp. And the male side will just run up running over to the marker light on the side. And I'm using 18 gauge automotive cable which is probably overkill because these LEDs don't draw a lot I actually had to drop the horn to get access to that bolt behind there. Other than that, piece of cake. And there they are. 
I pulled out the side marker bulb and you can see I actually have an LED bulb. They're pretty good. I recommend getting them. So what you do is you tie into that green wire and I just put one of those adapter crimps, a splice crimp, and then just run your wire underneath here to there. I'm going to make that connection and the LED is ground out on the bracket itself. Well, I hope you found that informative. I'll put a link in the description below for a set of plans on how to build the brackets. And please subscribe and stay tuned for a new video on how I mounted my ARB compressor. Once again, thanks for watching.